There are so many things about the ocean that connect us with it. Um, all of our senses are stimulated by the ocean. People have always gone to the ocean for relaxation and renewal and recreation. And I think that's a universal thing. People just love the ocean and can't always put their finger on why, but it's, a, it's just a human connection to the ocean. Well, as much as we may love the ocean, um, we sometimes don't act like it. And I think our, our overfishing and our pollution and coastal development have taken their toll on the ocean. And uh, the ocean seems so big and um, vast and unharmable, but it turns out that we've been really taking too much and out of it and putting too much into it. Well, you know, most of our planet, more than 70% of our planet is ocean, uh, but a very small percent of the, uh, of the funding for conservation goes to ocean protection. And less than 1% of the ocean is actually protected in any sort of formal way. That's just not enough. Well, there's so, so many things we can do, and there's so many ways that each of us, no matter where we live, are connected to the ocean, what we eat, what we buy, uh, what we do with our waste, uh, where we vacation and, and how we travel, all of those things impact the ocean. So you can just pick kind of one of your activities and try to figure out what's the most ocean friendly way to do that thing, whether it's eating seafood or going on vacation. You can just pick one thing and decide how to make it a little bit better so that it's good for the ocean. Thank you.